What's going on guys? Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new team of the season Bamba. A player that's actually had a skill move upgrade. I cannot believe by the way they actually went ahead and gave this guy a skill move upgrade. It was so unexpected but it's something you love to see. Now when it comes down to the stats on the card he's looking good. Very good. He's got 99 pace straight up with 95 dribbling, 92 shooting, 89 passing and the 80 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 9 player with high, high work rates, 5 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. Now when it comes down to the chem style, I feel like there's only one chem style that really, really makes sense on this card and it is going to be a marksman chem style. Like it's clear as day, you don't need to touch the pace because it's 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed already. So for that, the appreciate to his side. Now, what the Marksman Chem style does give him is extra finishing, extra shot power, and extra long shots, which I must admit, he does already need, but it's always nice to have a little bit more. And it, obviously, the dribbling as well gets boosted, so he's going to have like 94 reactions, 99 ball control, and 99 dribbling. But the main stat you are looking at is the strength. Him going from 74 strength up to 84 strength is going to make a huge difference to his game. So yeah, that is why I feel like the marksman chem style is the way to go. But looking at the shooting, he has got 94 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 85 volleys with a 99 penalties as well. This guy right here is going to be insanely clinical inside that box, especially with a four star weak foot as well. Now, has he got a shooting track? He doesn't. We move. Now, passing ability. He has got 94 vision with the 84 crossing, the 81 free kick accuracy, the 92 short passing, the 83 long passing, and the 95 curve as well. I tell you what, the passing isn't bad at all. Like, he's one of those players that if you want to play in a cam position, go ahead and do it because his passing ability does look top tier. Now, his dribbling ability, he has got 96 agility, 96 balance, 94 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, and then 90 composure as well. Saying that he's got now five-star skill moves, he should feel amazing amazing in game now moving on to the physicals he has got 98 jumping with the 85 heading accuracy you're telling me that this guy has even got a heading ability to his game as well Come on, yeah, you're spoiling us now. Now, he also has got 93 stamina, A4 strength, and a 77 aggression as well. Obviously, with the strength and, you know, not even aggression, but just strength boost, it's not, you know, anything crazy, but at least he's going to have strength to his game, and at least he's not going to be one of those players that's going to get completely bodied off the ball. He will obviously have some fight to his game. Now, when it comes down to the links for this guy, you already know that French nationality is so good, so good for links in this game, but it is a certain individual that links really well with him and it is going to be this man right here but what's happened to Marcel all right we're not going to talk about it yeah you could obviously go ahead and put that but the chemistry won't be I mean the chemistry will be the same apart from Renato being off chemistry so we're just going to play Hullet there but that is a very nice strong link that you actually can get with Bamba either way when it comes down to the when it comes down to the position sorry 4-4-2 striker position 4-2-3-1 in the land position so let's get into the games can I squeeze it through that gap I can give it to Bamba Wait the play here, just waiting for a second, seeing what this guy's doing. Oh, that's beautiful. We're past him. Again. No, I thought I could kind of get in between Nathan Ake there, but Nathan Ake did do really well to actually hold me up there and obviously go in for that tackle. Has he came short? He has. Well played. Fake shot around a corner. Green timed. Oh my god. Oh my bro. That goal. Oh, that would have been nah. That would have been filthy bro that was so far out as well and somehow somehow we actually ended up hitting crossbar give it straight through the middle oh my god that's a pass and a half well played bamba see if he can get that flick going oh my god look at that footwork the footwork literally literally being on point they're say sending nathan ake for hot dog and look at the finish as well literally going top bins that's a great double way pass that into the middle well played. Dummy it. Use that pace to get him behind. He's gone. He's gone and you're not going to catch him. I end up putting too much power into it and we miss out on the opportunity. That's obviously all on me, but it was great use of pace and it was a really fast turn as well. Good skill move. Really good skill move. Bamba's in behind again. We're just going to go for that early finesse shot and we're going to get another goal. I like that movement though. That movement to get him behind quickly was really good from him. Pull it. Pass it through the middle. Well played. 
Good turns. Oh, that's a beautiful flick. Really good cutting into the inside. And the finish is so perfect that the keeper just literally looked at it going into the back of the net. Boys, this guy's dribbling ability right now is so precise. He's taking every little angle I need him to take and to just like kind of create this. I was meant to say touch. I, he takes every single touch to create this certain angle that I need him to take. That's what I was meant to say. Give it down there. Well played. Bamba's literally wide open. The guy hasn't covered it. Bamba's took a very nice touch and turn. And we just got an easy finish. That's expected though. In those kind of situations, Bamba is most likely going to score. If he misses that, yeah, it'd be very questionable. Let's just say that. Next ball over. Well played. Bamba with the good touch. Great fake shot. And you know what? We're going to go for it because I kind of see it open. Oh my God, that's a perfect pass. We go for the finesse shot. We take too long. And Kunde, team of the season, decides he wants to get in a block. There's no way. No way he's got a block in there. Come on, EA, man. Turn him. Well played. Played out through ball. Good little run there. Can we get past Rio Ferdinand? We do it with ease. Pass to the inside. I don't know why I gave it back to him. I'm going to be honest. I literally have no idea. But Loki, I saw he was still on side. So that may be the reason. Either way, we end up with a goal. I'm happy. Keep going, Hullet. Go for that hill to hill. There you go. You see that space through the middle. Play that up. Kimmich on the ball. Seeing if maybe Bamba can support me here. Not really. Something I am noticing is that he really does like to stay up there. He's not really a player that comes short very often. So if you are going to use him in that striker position... Just know, oh, I see, I, can't, oh, I was just trying to get a goal there, but we obviously couldn't. Just know that he is going to be a player that's going to be aggressive and he wants to get in behind. See if kind to the inside, there you go, that's beautiful. Hill to hill, get the finesse onto that weak foot and a block is going to come into play. Give it to Mbappe here, wait for Bamba to come back on side, flick it up, flick over him, go for the volley. Okay, we, we tried it, we tried it. There's nothing wrong with trying it, you never know, it could end up in the back of the net. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ball around you. Fake shot. Get the little cheeky near post finish. Just shot power, by the way. Didn't allow the keeper any chance. Any chance of saving it. But for a second, when I saw him move the keeper, I thought he did read, read the right way. Well, he clearly didn't. And we end up getting the goal. Good touch. X ball over. Mbappe with the overtop. For oh, my God. Keep going. Keep it going. There you go. You know you got the pace. And he was using strength there as well to hold off Ruben Diaz. But Quadrado, I believe it was, was just going to come out and obviously clean it up. But that ball from Mbappe, that overtop through ball was clean. Going to see if I can get Bamba in behind here. Wait for the perfect moment to go for that through ball. We get it off. Ball roll. Flick around a corner. He overcommitted. Fake shot. Going to go for that finesse shot. And we are actually going to miss it. Nah, come on. But to be fair, it was kind of my fault we missed it. I should have been a bit more composed and probably took an extra touch. Giving him a better angle and probably ending up in a goal. Scoop turn that. Give it to Bamba. Just use his pace to see if you can get him behind the touch there. The touch there kind of let me down. I thought he was going to take an acceleration touch. Which he clearly didn't. But maybe, just maybe, we can recover. He feels so nice on the ball. I tried to go for a nutmeg. Usually that makes him do like a falling over animation. And that's what I tried. But it clearly didn't work out. But yeah, he's dribbling, boys. Top tier. Especially with those five-star skill moves. There's so much you can do to beat players 1v1. Touch it down. Well played. Play a through ball. That's a beautiful pass over to Mbappe. Just allowing him to kind of run onto it. Good shielding. Good pass to Kimmich. Look at Bamba trying to get in behind once again. I'm telling you, he likes to get in behind a lot. Flick it up. Flick it over him. That's rude. No, we're actually going to miss it. Oh, my God. Rio, bro, you are lucky because your career would have been ended if he scored that. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing two games with Bamba. And we came out with six goals. This card right here, boys, was an amazing card to use. And we all know what we saw in-game was beautiful. There's a precise little dribbling that he did. The shooting ability, hitting it with the left perfectly. Hitting it with the right perfectly. The fact that his passing ability was even good as well was really, really impressive. Like the switches this guy was doing under pressure as well in some occasions was like astonishing. Because for a person that has like 83 long passing. I didn't believe those were the part, kind of passes he would be doing, but obviously they were. Either way, the card is going for around 990k, so around a mil pretty much, right? Do I believe it's worth it? I honestly, I'm going to say he is worth it. One mil is, is the right price for this card, but there is no way 
No way he stays at that price. You have to understand, this is the first day of the league on team of the season. And the card literally came out like an hour, 50 minutes ago. So, boys... You know, the card is going to drop in price. If you want to go ahead and pick him up, wait for now. Wait for until he drops a bit more in the next few days and then go ahead and pick him up. Don't do what I did. Pick him up for a mil because you're going to lose a lot of coins. Let's just say that. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, without a doubt, it's a 10 out of 10. He was insanely fast. He was beating players out there with pretty much ease. The centre-backs he was playing had no chance catching up to this guy. So, yeah, for pace, 10 out of 10. Shooting ability. I loved how I was so comfortable shooting with the left foot. Like you saw mo in multiple occasions, I was turning onto that left foot, going for finesse shots, going for power shots, and they were literally flying into the back of the net. So for the shooting, I am going to give him, I would say, like a solid 9.4 slash 9.5 out of 10. Moving on to the passing ability, as I said, with some of the passes he was doing, it was really, really impressive. The way he was switching the ball from one side of the pitch all the way to the other. So for passing, I would say like an 8.6, 8.7 out of 10. Dribbling ability, it was so nice, man. It really was. I'm not going to sit here and compare him to like a Neymar when it comes down to his dribbling. Because trust me, I still feel like Neymar is better. But it was close. Like those five-star skill moves with those little precise little touches he was taking to get past players or get, or get like a certain angle to go for a shot was really, really nice to have. So for dribbling, I would say a 9.7 slash a 9.8 out of 10. You are going to notice that, you know, insanely fast dribbling ability that he has to his game. And for the physicals, the physicals was nice. But for me, I didn't feel like it was 84 strength. Like there were certain occasions that he was kind of getting pushed off the ball from a player that didn't have too much strength to his game. Like a, a team of the season quadrado. And we all know team of the season quadrado, when it comes down to the strength, it's not the greatest. But yeah, with Bamba, I didn't feel like he really had 84 strength. So for the physicals, I would say, I would say like an 8.2 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, he 100% deserves a high rating. 100% because he is a fantastic player. Card. And I would personally say, I would say a 9.5. A 9.5 out of 10 for Team of the Season Bamba. Them giving this card a 5-star skill move boost is such a good W from EA. But yeah, it was something I didn't expect, but it's something you love to see. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.